Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney's Wish movie again. So we did a video yesterday saying, hey, the box office this weekend is not going to be great, but it'll probably still come in first place, uh, barely beating the Hunger Games or whatever. Well, no, it's look it's looking like it's real bad for Wish. It's looking mm -hmm. like Wish might come in third place this weekend behind the Hunger Games and behind Napoleon. But and still in front of the, the Marvel, so. Yeah, the Marvels didn't even make the top five this week. So Thanksgiving was actually ahead of the Marvel. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because this is much, much worse. So I, I'm seeing a pattern here. They try to put a positive spin on things. They're like, oh, Wish is the most anticipated movie. Oh, the Marvels is the most anticipated movie. And it's a psych out. They're trying to get you to buy tickets. Like, well, this is a must see movie. We have to go see it. But the days of people just blindly consuming Disney product are over, mm -hmm. uh, definitely over. And I don't think the media is, uh, the media has their back anymore like they used to. So let's uh, let's talk about this turn of events. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! And uh, yeah, so pretty much Disney has struck out on every major release this year with the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty much, yes. I mean, people were like, uh-uh, they had Spider-Man. I'm like, no, that was Sony. Mm -hmm. That was Sony. So... I mean, nothing that, that you could argue it crossed into this year was Avatar, but that actually was released last year and it was still running into this year. Yeah, and that one, that was more about... Like, James Cameron has carte, carte blanche, blanche yeah, yeah. to do whatever he wants, and that's kind of his own thing, and that's like a, a Fox thing. It's not really a, like a Disney thing, right? Um, so yeah, this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter. Box office, Hunger Games prequel, and Napoleon rule Thanksgiving as Wish sings out of tune. Uh, Hunger Games, whatever, prequel number five, whatever, is winning the crowded holiday box office race, which people did not think was going to happen. Mm -mm. Uh, while Napoleon could narrowly beat Wish in a major Thanksgiving upset, it's doing a lot better than people thought. But I'm like, it's Ridley Scott, it's Joaquin Phoenix. I actually want to see it. I told you I want to see it. This is a very guy movie. Yeah, I don't want to see it. Don't I want care. To see it. I do know that, but apparently uh, the director is getting mad because a bunch of historians are like, that's not accurate. And he's <laughs> just like, piss off. I actually said, fuck off. But you know what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, I was talking to Squid King about it. And he was like, well, who was actually there to know what, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a movie. You're, you're going to take creative license to All make right. it as, you know, exciting as you can make it. Why well, I, I get mad, like every time we watch these video game or toy documentaries, because I'm I'm like really nerdy about that stuff. I'm like, that's not what happened. That's not actually it's what true, happened. He does. Actually. Can confirm. Actually. Can confirm. And it's like, God, I need to gain like 300 pounds and grow a neck beard. I get, really got to stop this. Um, but yeah, there are history nerds out there too. They're like, actually, that's not what happened. Um, but you know what? I like Joaquin Phoenix and I like Ridley Scott. So I'll probably like it. I just pat him on the arm and say, okay, grandpa, let's get you to bed. I know. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, oh no. One of my biggest pet peeves. Oh, God. One of my biggest, pet, I, I am not kidding. I don't know why this irritates me so much because it's a very simple thing to get right is when they have video games in movies in the wrong year. And I've seen this happen so many times. It, they had a Mortal Kombat machine like years before it would have been released. It does do this. And then we watch Stranger Things like the, for the time period. Like, that's not right. That was that was later in the 80s. Ultra Magnus. They had, it was supposed to be 1985. Dustin was coming home and they made a big deal. They, cause if they wouldn't have spent so much time on it, I wouldn't have thought about it. They had freaking Ultra Magnus there. Ultra Magnus was released in the summer of 1986. He was not released in 1985 unless Dustin was super special and knew somebody at Hasbro that stuck him. Most people wouldn't notice that. And he would have been in Diaclone, Diaclone Colors, too. Oh, my God. I need to shut the hell up. Okay. Yes. Hunger Games. The Hunger Games prequel. This is what I deal with all the time. Well, and also, also the, uh, <laughs> the Andy Kaufman biopic with Jim Carrey. He's playing Ms. Pac-Man in 1980 or 81. Okay. That's wrong. We get it. Okay. I'm just saying. Somebody needs to check this stuff. The Hunger Games prequel will easily top the holiday chart. There's a job for you right there. North they America. They can hire you. Winona Ryder's job on the set of Stranger Things is to double check this stuff because the Duffer brothers were too young. No, but I'm just saying, though, though 
you know, they, they have what they have, like the people that are, you know, sensitivity readers. They need sensitivity people on them. Set. Not because they're trying to not offend people that, you know, have disabilities or whatever. Just because people like Neon don't get offended by having the wrong games in the wrong era. But anyway. Okay, so we need we need somebody. <sighs> we need somebody, an angry ass Bergian something to come in here and like just tell us when our toys and our video games came out because okay. there's a, lots there's of a, other nerds are going to get mad career path for you. Okay. To the yeah, point. That's what you and I retire. To the point. The Hunger Games prequel will easily top the holiday chart in North America with a projected gross of 40 million plus for the Wednesday to Sunday corridor. Is that what they're calling it now? After five days, five, five days, days. Five, that much for five days. Yeah, they were proje they were projecting that wait. Wish was going to because Wish supposedly had a really good Wednesday. Wait, but wait, wait, wait! It's going to easily top for five days of forty million. That's not good. Easily, wait. That's the second. The week. prequel easily top the holiday chart in North America with a projected gross of forty million for Wednesday through Sunday. Yes, they 40. were. They were, and, and they were saying that Wish was going to do initially like fifty-five to sixty. Hunger Games is easily coming at the top for, for with 40. Oh, wow. That's not good. Snow White's on top. The movie, which opened the weekend before Thanksgiving. So this is the second week. And they were disappointed. They were disappointed in the, the first week for this. They're like, it's not up to Hunger Games standards. It's going to finish Sunday with a 10-day domestic total of nearly $100 million. That's pathetic. For a Hunger Games movie, they used to do that in like a night. But, you know. It's like we have a race of people that, you know, they're racing these films and they're all like, you know, they're all like supposed to be having a race and they're going to find the slowest people possible. It's like you you have the fastest snail on the snail race. This is like it's kind of what it is. The geriatric foot race here. Like like all these movies, like none of them are doing. Like, I'm a winner because I'm, my slowest one is the fastest. Like this is this is garbage. I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's did more in a weekend and it was released it was a $25 million movie and it was released on Peacock at the same time. In a surprise twist, Ridley Scott's Napoleon is in a close race with wish for number two. Okay. So number, it's not number three yet. We don't well, know. it's, it's looking like it's going to be, uh, for sure. So I, I don't know, but this is, this is not what they were hoping for. I mean, it's getting its ass handed to it. Can I, can I say Disney gets its ass handed to it in the title of a video? Probably not. I don't know. Um, that's, 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 anybody's going to say, whoa, so it's data ends in Y? That's what an, they're going to say. An Apple movie. It's an Apple movie. Uh, it's going to have a five-day debut of 32 to 33 million. Again, Wish was supposed to have like 50 to 60 million. Here's the thing. A 32 to 33 million five-day debut of something like Napoleon makes sense. You yeah. expect that. Yeah. But, you know, Wish should have been like, you know, way ahead of it. Yeah. And I'm telling you, a lot of it is too because people are waiting for it on Disney Plus because it keeps it keeps trending. When is Wish going to be on Disney Plus? Tracking had Wish, an original story with no affiliated IP. No, no it's they shoved all kinds every, of IP in it. Every Disney IP topping the Thanksgiving chart with a five day feast of forty five fifty. That was adjusted down. It was supposed to be like fifty five to sixty. They're like, well, it might be forty five to fifty, but it's definitely going to be the top movie this weekend. Now they're like, oh yeah, it might not even. It might not even make second place. Instead, it likewise is looking at a five day gross, 32 to 33. So it could go, it could go either way. Wish or Napoleon could like, you know, it's neck and neck. Disney had suffered a rocky year at the box office, capped by the recent bust, The Marvels. That was another one. It's supposed to be like, well, this movie's going to do 75 to 80. Easy. <laughs> Wish, which earned 8.3 million on Wednesday. That does not is that is that the preview? Did they roll the previews into that? Because I don't know. That seems awfully high. Because most people most people are home getting Thanksgiving like pies and Again, stuff. Again, they ready. started releasing the film on the 18th, like to select theater, select audiences, early preview. Mm, this isn't good, guys. This isn't good at all. Uh, yeah, Thanksgiving is still making money. Um, so let's look at uh, box office mojo. So as of Friday. The latest dailies uh, has Hunger Games at 11 million, Napoleon at 8.3 million, and Wish at 8 million. Uh, Trolls wasn't that far behind Wish. And then Thanksgiving. So let's see where the Marvels is. Number six. Wow. Below Thanksgiving and Trolls. So, so no, they'll be like, it's been out for three weeks. Is it three weeks? Yeah, and it hasn't even cracked 100 million yet. Domestic? That's not right. 72 million? 
That's <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's has done twice as much. Five Nights at Freddy's has done 135 million, and it was on Peacock too. You could basically watch it not for free, but you know what I'm saying. You didn't have to go to the theater to see it. This is freaking dire. I mean, this is just bad. Um, wow. Okay, so yeah, Thanksgiving's at 19. And it didn't cost very much at all. But here's the thing too about Wish. Oh, yeah. It's a way more theaters. Wish is in more theaters than any of these other movies. Wish is in 3,900 theaters. Or it's on yeah, 3,900 more, screens. It's in more, it's in more than, than Hunger Games. Yeah, The Hunger Games is on 3,700 screens. Probably because it's long. Napoleon's on 3,500. Wish is on more screens. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's... Well, so is Trolls. And, it, and it's getting its butt kicked by Napoleon and Hunger Games, too. Yeah. This isn't good. I mean, there's no way to there's no way to put a good spin on this. So let's look and see. Did we have the 25th yet? We don't have the 25th yet, obviously. Um, let's go back and uh, let's look at the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving Day. Mm-hmm. Um, Hunger Games is number one. Napoleon was number two, and Wish was number three. By a, by a lot behind. Napoleon. By a lot, and that's on Thanksgiving. Now, so a lot of people actually do go to the movies, I guess, on on Thanksgiving, which I, you know, okay. Now, here's Wednesday. Now, this is what I'm wondering, because we talked about those previews. Did they roll the previews into the total for that first Okay, Wednesday? we'll go to the 21st and see if it shows up. Does it show up for the 21st, Wish? No. No. Okay, so Wish was out on the 18th in, in, in certain theaters. They were trying to get an early jump on it. It was out four days before uh, its let's see if they actual have the official one, premiere. Right? Nope. Okay, so... That is likely rolled together. I am speculating. I don't know for certain, but I'm going to speculate that they just, because they've done this before with movies where they just add it to whatever the first date. Like, oh, this is preview night or all the previews count. So I don't think they made $8 million in a day. I think they made some money on the 18th or whatever it was. And then they made some, let's check other days. I don't think it's on there. Nope. Yeah. And so the trolls and the horror games, this is their second week too. Yeah. Hunger Games is still going to beat them, and this is the second week. Yeah, and and they were disappointed. They were disappointed in the box office. So this is a massive misfire. I mean, yeah, I think they rolled the previews into... They had to have. And you're going to get the Disney diehards come out for this one the first weekend, and that's it. What are the ones that are left. The ones that are left. Because I think a lot of people are just sick of it at this point. I can I, tell you for a fact I'm on different boards, and even a lot of people are like, I was a diehard, and I just can't even stand it anymore. Yeah, that's what I think's going on, too. I think a lot of people are just checking out. And the media is not supporting Disney like they were before. I think the checks are bouncing or they're not cutting checks like they used to. And it doesn't help that the product has been piss poor mm-hmm. for multiple years now. Yeah, I was a Disney diehard when the when Disney was Disney and things were good. Yeah. You know, even when they were, even when they were the best, like 2019, I, I, I was already turned away from it because I was like, I could, I've seen behind the curtain and it's not. These people are shit <laughs> anyway, but that's yeah. just, you know. It's the look, it's, I don't even think it's going to come in second. I mean, the only way it would is if they count those previews. Cause I'm like, not Napoleon did. Yeah. It did pretty good on Wednesday too. So yeah, I, I think they're screwed. I think they're going to lose. I think they're going to wind up coming in third place opening weekend, a Disney cartoon that's supposed to be the celebration of a hundred years of Disney coming in third place on a holiday weekend when that Thanksgiving and Christmas are like the big time for cartoon family movies and losing to uh, Napoleon, which is freaking weird, and to The Hunger Games, which is in its second week. That's not good, Mm-mm. right? I don't, there's not enough pixie dust for, for Bob Iger to spin a tail to the investors next time. Because they kept well, saying, will, but, oh, know. Wish is going to be this big hit, guys. Wish is going to be our... This is our last hope for the year. The Marvels and Wish, they're going to they are gonna make all kinds of money. And I think you're right. I think people are just, they're over Disney. They're like, we can't trust Disney. Well, I can tell you for sure with Wish, it's just, I think a lot of it is people are just waiting for it on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. I yeah. really, truly do. All this the Target stuff. demo is a lot of people with kids, a lot of it. And people found out that it's so much easier to keep the kids at home. Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cheaper, easier. Yeah. More fun. And Disney did that to themselves. They basically trained people and Universal. Well, the pandemic didn't yeah. help, yeah. Look, we're going to dump our movies on the Disney Plus or on Vudu or whatever pretty damn quick. So save your money, you know. 
Uh, anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh-huh. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.